Hey, it's Dave from Living Waters Kayaking, and today I'm doing a DIY fishing crate or kayak crate or jumbo crate. Um, I mentioned this in an earlier video uh, when I went out uh, mangrove fishing, mangrove snapper fishing. It's a good video. Go check it out. Um, so what I do is uh, I keep it really simple. Um, I believe in the KISS method. So it's keep it simple, stupid, and that applies to me. So I'm not, uh, I don't go crazy about color coordinating things. As you see, I've got all sorts of colors here for rod holders, and I'm just gonna attach, the, attach it to the crate using stainless steel hardware, um, a, a, a screw, a washer, and a nut. And I'm just going to align these where I can drill the holes in these in this in uh, in this uh, grit here so i'm going to probably drill a hole right here in the middle here and one over here and then just zip tie the bottom of the rod holder to the crate pretty simple pretty quick i'm going to um, attach six rod holders i usually go out with a, between four and six rods when i fish um, so i'm going to um, attach all six so here we go Going to check this one more time. So one's going to lay there, one's going to lay there, and the other one will be right about there. So I've got it on the far corners and one more or less in the middle. Pretty much that's going to be my layout for the rods, it's for the rod holders. So uh, here we go. You know, just want that there. No, no real measurement needs to take place. I mean, that's how I kind of roll. I'm sure some of you measure twice, drill once, or cut once. I just uh, kind of eyeball it and, and go for it. So again, the top, the top's gonna get the screw. Stainless steel, make sure you need the screw. A small nut, and I use what I have in my garage. I did not go out and buy um, anything for this project. And the washer, there you go. That's all you need for each, for each rod holder. And then we're gonna use a zip tie for the bottom part of the rod holder, okay? Attached. That went through the uh, through the crate. Now I've got my stainless steel washer. And my nut. Again, I keep it pretty simple, pretty easy. So that's how it's going to look before drilling it. We're screwing it tight. Grab my pliers. So I can just hold the hold the uh, the nut. Yeah, I know I can I can I can use a wrench, but my the nuts are different sizes, so this this works out fine. And these are lock nuts. Not too tight. It's not like you're holding all this weight. That's pretty steady, and now I will add the other rod holders. Okay, now I'm going to secure the rod holder or keep them from uh, moving around by zip tying the bottom section here. So I need a I need a hole for the zip tie here. I'm gonna drill that through. My zip tie was a little short, so I need to attach two of them, make it longer. I'm gonna go down the hole here. I just drilled. 
out the other side. That's it. It's good enough. It's, just, it's only a rod. It's not that heavy. Clip off the ends, the tags, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to do the other five rod holders. And here we are. We've finished product. So we've got the um, crate with the six rod holders attached. Again, we use the KISS method here. Keep it simple, stupid, that's me. Um, really, really easy way to, to create or make a really um, a very useful tool for fishing, kayak fishing, or a small boat, like a John boat. Remember, I've got two ideas, two bonus ideas coming up. Hang in there, we're almost done. So, really, really happy with it. A lot of functionality and utility I get out of this type of simple, simple um, project. Now, I, uh, this crate also helps me minimize what I bring out. So in other words, I've got to think about the type of fishing I'm doing for that day and keep my, my tackle specific to that fishing. So this el eliminates or keeps me from bringing all sorts of other junk. As uh, you guys, a lot of you guys and gals are well aware, well aware we kind of tend to bring out uh, bring out everything when we go fishing so this will also help you um, narrow down what you're going to use for that day so the bonus ideas i've got two so one is taking a, another crate and cutting the bottom out of it and creating a, a lid and a little shelf here where you can put your stuff you can bungee put bungees across the top keep stuff from falling out and you can also add zip ties along the the back and create a hinge so you can flip this up and down uh, i also had a a, a, a a piece of string here to keep it from flipping over um, i used that for a little while it was uh, it was good some people like it some people don't i prefer uh, after using it for a while i took it off and now i take this tray and i stick it under the seat of my kayak that works better for me the other bonus idea is how to use this for a jumbo or small craft so i have a couple of buddies and they'll take a a, a, um, a, a tackle box and no tackle box you know 3700 series box fill it with concrete and just lay it on the bottom here and so that will anchor it on a boat more or less i would still zip kind of zip tie it maybe. um i'm sorry bungee it to a to some sort of anchor point on 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 the boat um, i um they also use sandbag so i've seen them put a small sandbag in here again it just kind of quick anchor and keep things secure i I also use this for shore fishing. So I have this, I'm going to shore fish, especially if I bring my wife, um, throw this in the back of the truck. By shore fish, I usually, I'll bring out a couple of chairs, put this down, have a, I put my bucket here, all my equipment for shore fishing, pliers and all sorts of stuff. And it's really a handy, handy tool for, um, for shore fishing as well. So there you have it. Um, I hope you guys get out, enjoy the wonderful living waters that the good Lord has given us. Um, see you on the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you. God bless you all.